Jackie. And we're the Sorry Girls. And this is Puppy Week. Puppy Week! Puppy Week! And we're bringing back everybody's favorite series on this channel, Thrift Flip! Thrift Flip! <laughs> So we're going off to our favorite thrift store to get some sort of items that we can thrift look into puppy DIYs. What I, are we thinking? I've seen and I like I thought about this. We always use belts as like straps. So I'm like, what if there's a belt as a collar? Or like a leash? Or a leash. And then maybe we also, I don't know about this video specifically, but we're thinking of dog toys or something we can upcycle to work as a dog toy. So should we go see what we can find? We just always walk with our eyes open, guys. Exactly. Alright, let's go <laughs> look. Guys, this rope. Be a leash. How much is it? You know what we always pay. If it's not labeled, it's free. Becky, you're supposed to say it's free. Becky, do you think we should do this size or what was our other version? This guy. This mm -hmm. size. Probably the craziest thrift flip shopping experience we've ever had to date. Buying baby clothes and baby toys. And got a lot of weird stairs. Wait, baby toys. The wheel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's not baby, but yeah. All right, let's go to DIY. God, every time we do that, I feel like we're gonna break the couch. Poor couch, poor couch. Okay, so we made it back from the thrift store. We got a bunch of really cool things. What did you get? Okay, so found this jump rope, which, oh my gosh, guys. I don't know what the rules of thrift rope are. You guys can tell us what you think, but can you use a thrift store item as itself, basically? We're using rope, but in a different way. But this is a jump rope, and we're making a leash. Mm -hmm. There isn't even the word rope in leash. There's no rules in upcycling. Also, got this was a purse strap mm -hmm. um our thrift store is like pretty amazing and it has like everything everything i feel like some thrift stores would be like nobody wants to buy this but we're like we will buy that for 99 cents <laughs> they're like someone will buy it it's gonna be a really short leash for a really small dog but it's perfect because it comes with all the hardware already mm -hmm. like this is a purse strap um and then two belts we're making we have two puppies that we're making so cute. um collars for one is a little bit smarter and look how pretty this is and then this one's like classic, and I'm so excited for my little Brie to rep this. And then we picked up this crazy children's uh, ATV toy, and I'm not even gonna tell you guys what we're gonna make out of it because it's crazy, but it will be up on our Instagram as a part of Puppy Week, so make sure you go check out the link below to go watch the video of what we made this toy into. But, you guys, oh, but we're gonna go DIY these right now. All right, let's do it. All right, so from the thrift store, we picked up these two. Well, this is a belt and this is a purse strap, and we loved the color of this. So we're gonna make a super cute dog collar out of this. And this is actually so easy because all a dog collar is is a strap with a buckle. So we've got that essentially already. The only thing we need to add is a little D-ring that we can clip the leash to. So the first step is going to be to take this and cut it to the right size of your dog's neck. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, so this is the little D-ring you'll need. You can get this from the fabric store or the craft store, and what it's gonna do is we can clip our leash to it. So we need to put this on the collar, and all I'm gonna do is take some needle and thread and wrap this around my D-ring onto my collar. Conveniently, this collar has holes in it, which is gonna make it so much easier. If not, you're just gonna have to stitch through the actual leather, but that shouldn't be too hard either. If it is too hard to sew through, don't worry, Kelsey has a way that'll make it so much easier. Coming up next. So this is done. That was the easiest thing I've probably done in a long time. And it's so adorable. So cute. So moving on, now we're gonna make a leash that goes with this as well. So we're gonna do this out of a bag strap that we found that someone had graciously donated. I don't know where the rest of the bag is, but that doesn't matter. So this actually comes with two little clips, which is super helpful, super easy. Don't have to buy that. But I only need one of them to clip onto the actual collar. So I'm gonna take the other one off, just cut out the stitches, and then sew it in the loop to form a handle, and then that'll be it. All right, so again, that was super, super easy, and all you need to do now is clip your clip onto your little dog collar. Oh my goodness, and you're ready to go. So now Kelsey's gonna show you a slightly more complicated way to do the same thing uh, with different materials. Okay, so I'm gonna be working on Bree's collar and leash, and I'm gonna start with this super cute brown belt. Um, I wanna make it long enough that she can grow into it a little bit, so I think I'm just gonna cut it off basically where the holes end. All 
All right, next I'm gonna add some holes. Um, you know, obviously you know the size of your dog, so you might only need to add one hole. But I'm gonna add a bunch just so she can grow and um, it looks like a little mini belt. Now that we have our holes and oh my god, this looks so cute. Guys. It's so cute. So we also picked up, we're gonna call it a D-ring from the fabric store, or I'm sure you can get it from the craft store. It's kind of just like a buckle piece. And this is gonna be what you can clip the, the leash onto. So we're gonna slide it on. Um, and we want to actually secure it so that it doesn't slide off when I take off the collar. So basically I'm gonna make a sandwich with a scrap piece of the belt that I cut off and um, the collar that I have here. And I'm just gonna punch two holes on each side through both layers of fabric. And then use some string or wax thread to um, sew them together with the D-ring in between. Now it can't go anywhere. All right, so now that this is all done, I think it looks super cute. Um, I love the white detailing with the string. Um, and look at how well these metals match. Good job, guys. All right, now we're gonna move on to our leash. Okay, so the plan for the leash, basically the rope. <laughs> um, let's try to find out if we can use as much of this rope as possible. So, if you didn't have a skipping rope, start with some rope. We know that we need one side that has the hook that you hook onto the collar and then another end is uh, the handle for walking. We picked up this swivel hook from the fabric store or you can get it from a craft store as well. And somehow we're going to put this through here and then we need to like attach it to itself. All right, so we're gonna use some strong glue like E6000 to attach it to itself right here and then we'll follow it up with wrapping it with tape just to secure it all in place and then we're going to use the string to wrap it around on the outside for just like aesthetics so this end is looking so cute with the wrapped rope i love it rope on rope on rope and then now we're just gonna do the handle. We're gonna do pretty much the exact same thing, except instead of wrapping it with rope, I have an extra piece of leather that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna do the same hole punching technique to make my hole so that I can thread the rope through. Once you have your three holes on each side, all I'm going to do is have a knot in the one end of my string and then lace it up starting from the bottom, just like doing three stitches across using the holes as the places where I'm going to insert. And then at the end, you can just knot it off tightly and cut it. All right guys, this is what it looks like in the end. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. The metals match like perfectly. They all go together. Bree's gonna be so stylish and gonna have to be fighting off all the boy dogs. Love how it turned out. And guys, this is probably like a total of maybe five, six dollars. And it looks like it's worth like a hundred. Not gonna lie. Right, guys we are absolutely in love with how these collars and leashes turned out and who knew you didn't need to spend 40 50 60 dollars on a pet store or a boutique place you can make your own if you like this kind of thrift upcycle making cool things out of recycled things make sure you check out the rest of our thrift clip series we do this with all sorts of items like home decor fashion we do it all check that out and make sure you guys comment below because we usually before we head to the thrift store we look at the comments from the previous thrift flip videos mm -hmm. to see what kind of thrift flip you guys want us to see like somebody I know asked for a dress like an old frumpy dress how we could like make it modern so lots of different ideas make sure you guys leave those below and we'll be checking them next time we go to the thrift store and make sure you don't miss out on the rest of puppy week there was things going on all week things happening tomorrow still there'll be links at the end to everything because it's happening on all different social media so make sure you go see the rest of puppy week all right thank you guys so much for watching this video if you like it make sure that you like it and if you love it make sure you sub it and we'll see you next week bye bye, bye.